Hey, this is Jonathan and I'm here with a new tutorial today. Today's tutorial will be over how to create a lower third for live shows or non-linear footage. The programs we will use are Photoshop and After Effects to create them. First and foremost, I would like to say thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, give a thumbs up if you like the video, and comment down below and let me know what you think and if you have any questions. First, let's make a simple lower thirds. Create a new Photoshop file. Name the new file lower underscore third. Then go under the preset and select film and video. Then under size, select HDTV 1080p slash 29.97. Leave the rest of the attributes as they are and then select OK. Next, pull in a screenshot from something that you might be working with. This will help when deciding the style of the lower third. Duplicate this layer over to the document that you're working on, which is the lower underscore third. Close that, then select the layer and rename it. For mine, I will name it Angelus Mountains. Now hold down Control T on the keyboard, which is Edit Free Transform and Release. Resize the image to fit in the frame appropriately. For mine, I could simply type the value in 37 by 37. Create a new layer by selecting Control Shift N on the keyboard, label it LT underscore bottom, then make another and label it LT underscore top. While still having the top layer selected, grab the marquee tool and select a rectangular area in the appropriate area for where the top of the lower thirds shall be placed. If need be, pull in a safe frame to work from so you know where the lower thirds should be placed. Afterward, fill the marquee area in with white, then do the same thing with the bottom layer, but make this one a little smaller. Next, duplicate lower third bottom and rename it lower third bottom control. Then select control I on the keyboard to swap the colors, which will change to black, then set the opacity to 11%. Now everything below this layer that we add to the bottom part of the lower third will be slightly darker. Duplicate lower third bottom control and rename it shadow one. Hold control and select in the thumbnail portion of the layer. This will highlight everything that is in that layer. Then hold control alt and select the lower third top layer to deselect if there's any overlap and create a mask for shadow one. Using the marquee tool, delete all but the top area of the back in shadow one to leave what looks like a shadow for the top lower third. Go to filter and put on a Gaussian blur set to about 2.3 pixels and set the opacity for shadow one to 42%. Now hold control on the keyboard and select lower thirds top, then hold alt and deselect the marquee to leave a little piece still selected at the end. Grab the fill tool, find a color of your choice and fill in the little segment. Do the same for the bottom lower third. For this type of lower third, you are done for the most part. There is one more element I will add to all of this. Control select the top and hold control shift and select the bottom lower third layer and create a new layer below all of the lower thirds layer and fill the marquee area with black and then deselect it. Double click on that layer and give it a drop shadow effect. After which, save the file appropriately for the use that you need it for. Hide the unwanted layers and crop the image around the lower third that was created and give it a little cushion room. For me, I will save it as a ping file and select interlaced to bring the alpha channel with it so I can later use the image in After Effects. Now let's make a more graphic lower third with an animation in it. First start off by setting up the scene in Photoshop. Make a new file and call it animated underscore lower underscore third in 1080p. Bring the screenshot that you wish to work with. For this tutorial, I have already created a globe spinning in Maya, so I will put a single frame from that animation to work with as well. Once the scene is set up, create the top and bottom lower third layers, select the area where they should take up, and fill the area in with any color. I will use black. These layers from this point on will be mainly used to marquee the top and bottom lower thirds quickly. Next, create a new layer for the top base color as T underscore base underscore color. Use your top LT to marquee the area and select two colors for your color palette. I chose green and dark green. Afterwards, select filter from the drop down menus and then select render clouds. Then go to filter again and select render difference clouds. It's dark and it has a light touch to it, but I will stick with that for now. Do the same thing for the bottom lower third. Create a new layer for the bottom base color as B underscore base underscore color. Use your bottom lower third to marquee the area and select two colors for your color palette. I chose blue and dark blue. 
Afterwards, select filter from the drop-down menu and do render clouds, then go back and do render difference clouds. Now I am done with those layers for now. What I want to do now is give the lower thirds a slight dynamic shape by cutting the ends diagonally. Turn off the visibility of top underscore lower thirds and bottom underscore lower thirds. Take the polygonal lasso tool and cut into the thirds and delete. Now let's make some borders. Create a new layer and call it borders. Marquee the bottom first, then select, select from the drop down menu, then modify border and go with two pixels. Fill that area in with a white. Next, do the same using the top lower third layer, but fill the border in on the same layer borders. Select the left edge of the border and either delete or right click and free transform to drag the excess white off the screen. Press enter to accept the changes. Now select the border going behind the globe and select a little out from the globe itself, like give it a little bit of cushion. Make sure that only the middle border is selected. Right click and select free transform, then right click again and select warp. Pull the middle area down by just a little to give the impression that the border is going behind and around the globe. At this point, create a new layer below the globe and above the borders layer and call it A underscore globe underscore BG. Take the brush tool with black as your color and set the opacity to 30% and fill in a little bit of the area behind the globe to give the border a sense of going behind the globe. Now I wish to change the intensity of the border. Select the borders layer and then go to image, adjustments, exposure, and bring the exposure down till it feels right to you. I went with negative 3.78. Also, I'd like to bring up the lightness of both parts of the lower thirds. To do this, I will create a new layer and call it white underscore control. Then control select the bottom and top lower third and on the white control layer, fill that area in with white. Then decrease the opacity to 5%. I think for tutorial's sake, let's stop here and move on to the next element. I do not want to make something that is too intricate this is for, you know, mainly learning purposes. You should be able to take what you have learned from here and create something more attuned to your artistic style. So now let's get rid of unnecessary layers and crop around the lower third, giving some cushion room. Save as a ping or what you need it as and make sure to keep the alpha with it. If it is a ping, then select interlaced. Now to bring it into After Effects and put our animation on top and make our lower thirds looping for use in live recordings or non-linear editing. Create a new project in After Effects, make a new composition at 1080p and label it animated underscore lower underscore thirds. Don't worry about the rest of the settings at this moment. Now import the image and the animation by double clicking in the project window or under file select import file. Drag the new files you brought into your new composition. Make sure the earth.movie file is above the lower thirds. Place them accordingly. If you wish, you could select the layer and use the arrow keys to move them around. You can also hold shift while using the arrow keys, which will allow you to move them faster. Next, select lower third and press T or open its properties and change the opacity to 82%. Once they are there, the earth animation should be already looped and ready to go. Drag the slider to the end of the animation in the timeline window. Take note of that time or select the timer and copy the value there. Right click on the composition and go to composition settings, paste that time or type it in at the duration window. Select OK. Now if you do a RAM preview, you will see that it's ready to go. Now I would like to add one more animated element to the lower third. Select the lower third in the project panel and drag it on top of the composition icon at the bottom of that panel to make a new composition that is set to the size of the image. Open the composition setting and rename it Anim Lower Third. Next, create a new black solid layer, drag it below the lower thirds layer, press home on the keyboard to make sure you are at frame one, go to your effects and presets menu and under star, animation presets, backgrounds, select smoke rising. Drag the preset on top of the new solid you made. Afterwards, change the track mat to alpha mat, quotation animated lower thirds paint. Next, select the black solid and press U on the keyboard to pull up all keyed elements. Take the keys that are at the five second mark and move them to the end of the timeline. Now select both layers and pre-compose them. 
Do this under the Layer Menu drop-down or select Control shift c Name this Alto, which stands for Animated Lower Thirds Overlay. Duplicate Alto two times in this composition. What we want to do here is make the footage looping. What I need to make is a duplication crossfade point. Take the duplicated layers and shift them over two seconds. Then go to the end of the timeline, press Control shift d on the top layer. This will split the layer. Delete the layer below it, pull the top layer back to frame one. Now we will need to key the opacity for all these layers appropriately. Select all three and press T. For this process, I will simply just show you where to key in the video. Just follow along. Go back to animated lower thirds composition and pull anim LT into it. Match the position values of your ping image and it will line up. Change anim LT's mode to overlay and set the opacity to 10%. So at this point we're done. Check it in RAM preview. If it's good, then you want to pull the elements into a smaller composition and get rid of the excess space around the lower thirds and then you can render it out and save it as a lossless QuickTime file. A QuickTime lossless file type is good for cross-platform use. So that's it for creating the two lower thirds. Again, I would like to say thanks again for watching the video. Please subscribe and give a thumbs up if you liked the video and definitely comment down below and let me know what you think and if you have any questions. So. Have fun and take it easy.